Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. Today, we're gonna talk about how to get your body physically activated so you're ready as soon as that puck drops and you're flying from the start of the game. Typically, when you're playing a game, the coach is gonna come in, give you a few things to think about, go over a few systems and some things that you wanna execute as a team, and then it's up to you about an hour, hour and a half before the game starts to get your body ready for peak performance. I'm gonna take you outside and run through my physical warm-up that gets me prepared so when that puck drops, I'm in full speed and I'm ready to play the game. Now, when your dad was playing, everybody used to static stretch. Okay, that's what they did. They got in a circle and they just stretched. But we can't do this anymore when our muscles are cold. So we have to get a little jog in, a little bike ride in, a dynamic warm up, and then we can static stretch once our muscles are warm so we're not tearing anything and they're already warmed up and able to stretch. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you through a quick jog, then I'm gonna do my dynamic warm up, and then I'm gonna finish with a static stretch and a stick handling circuit, and I'm gonna be ready to jump on that ice in top physical performance so mentally I'm dialed in. Okay, I start my warm up with three laps around the rink, get nice and warmed up at a good moderate pace, make sure my blood's moving and I'm ready to go. After I jog, I do a couple dynamic movements to even further warm up my body before I can start the stretching process. I start with bouncing off my toes, then I straight leg bounce my legs to the side, then I do butt kickers, then I try and do a quick movement where I'm bringing my opposite hand to my opposite leg, bringing up explosive movements. Then I get back to where I am and I start doing a warm up with a walk. First, I start with a high knee lift. Okay, then I do a lateral knee lift. Then I do a quad stretch and a reach. Then I do a lateral lunge, both sides. Then I finish with trying to reach my hand to my toes and just try and stretch everything in my lower half to get nice and loose. Okay, now that we went through all of our dynamic movements and our jogging and our running and our body's nice and warmed up, now we can static stretch without having to worry about pulling anything because our body's nice and warmed up. This also gives us a chance to kind of visualize the game as well because we're kind of standing still, counting to 10 a few times, and really getting our focus to be able to be our best as soon as we step on the ice from the drop of the puck. So now that I'm doing this and I'm being able to take the time to myself where it's nice and quiet, I'm thinking about the good things that I'm gonna do and the things that I'm gonna do well out there. I'm not thinking about what can go wrong, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do right. And this makes it so you're already dialed in mentally and you're wanting to go make a play as opposed to not get scored on. Because when we go out there, we need to be dialed in positively, visualize the good things, and those bad things don't even come into our mind. Now that I'm all warm, last thing I do, besides foam roll a little bit, kind of work those kinks out of some sore spots, is I'm gonna grab my stick and my gloves and I'm gonna stick handle, get my hands loose, okay? Get moving around a little bit, wake back up, and then I'm gonna get my gear on, okay? So I'm gonna stick handle, okay? Work my hands, work my hands, forward back, work across my body, okay? Just get nice and loose, nice and loose, work those hands, and really, get warmed up. So when I get on the ice, the first thing I'm gonna work on are my edges and my footwork. Now remember, this isn't set in stone, an exact routine that every hockey player should do, but it's just to show you that the game starts before you go on the ice. And if you wanna get better every day, your body has to be in top shape and you can't be getting hurt and being a professional is preparing for every ice practice and every game. So thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. And if you like the video, make sure you press that like button, 
If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your buddies, have them subscribe. And remember, it's all about the details. I do a lateral lunge, both sides, followed by a, what is that? What is that? Uh...